Yo, what's good, Sneaker Log? It's your boy, Cam Nye, checking back in with the new sneaker review, new pickup. Today, we have the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 in this metallic and gold colorway. Gets a dope sneaker. Glad that Nike decided to do this colorway on the Foam Posit 1. Very nice look for the shoe. And, you know, I'm glad that, you know, I was able to get my hands on a pair because I wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to get these. I kind of alluded that, you know, I had a few pickups this month that I really wanted to get. And, uh, but I didn't really want to drop the name, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to jinx it or nothing like that. But, um, this is definitely, was definitely on my list. And, uh, you know, I was, as you can see, I was able to get them. So what I'll do is just do a, um, quick little, just, you know, point out some things like I usually do what I like about the shoe. I always kind of wanted Nike to do something, um, with the phone posit like this, with the phone posit one. Um, you know, I always kind of wanted a, a shoe that was gold, you know, not like, but not too crazy over the top. And this is just, just enough for me. You know what I'm saying? This metallic gold and black definitely works. They definitely executed this well. And one of the, the main things I really like about the shoe is the craftsmanship. The, you know, they executed this one really nice, man. A1, as far as the craftsmanship, not really much flaws on this shoe. Compared to, you know, this is not my first pair of phone posits. I have a few other ones in my collection. Um, I think this is the first time I've actually done a um, phone posit review on the channel, though. But, um, yeah, I have the uh, Royal Blue Foams, the, uh, you know, the OG colorway. And I also have the uh, uh, Metallic Pewters, you know, the silver joints, just like these, pretty much. Um, I have some phone posit Pros, and I have some uh, Total Air max or total air phone posit max the um the tim duncan joints i have those too so um yeah i have a few in the collection but this is definitely as far as the um quality as far as the craftsmanship quality goes these are definitely the best pair that i've ever owned they really nailed it so yeah i like the craftsmanship a lot and i also like the uh just you know the colorway the the gold and the black it's, the gold on the phone posit is just nice. And I also like the, the black uh, new buck. And it hits of gold throughout the shoe. Let me show you guys the back. Yeah, the shoe is just nice. You got to get a look at the back. You got the one cent logo in gold. And then you have that uh, pull tab up around the heel. And uh, also, let me show you guys the bottom. Bottom is... You see the uh, icy blue also. I, I like that a lot also on the shoe. Um, of, you know, the look is dope. And it also um, helps preserve the uh, yellowing process of the the shoe. So, um, they got the little traction, traction pod um, right there. Insert along with the gold pinning logo. And I also like the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber plate right here on the side and the bottom. Just the shoe is clean, man. Definitely one of my better pickups um, recently, and um, you know it's just something I didn't want to really pass up on because you know you never know when when are we gonna get another um, you know gold phone posit. Like to me, this is one of the better ones to come out. You know, I th I thought those mirror those mirror. Uh, Chrome posits were dope too, you know what I'm saying? But I was able to get those. I think they only released those up in uh, New York. So, but, um, and I'm not going to pay resale price for those. But, you know, those are pretty dope. But these, I was, um, I was fortunate, you know, fortunate enough to get these. Uh, also, let me show you guys, before I forget, let me show you guys the uh, box sticker price. Box sticker. There you go. Metallic gold air phone posit one and the box sticker price was two thirty. I paid retail for these. And um yeah, it wasn't even as hard as I thought. I mean, I got these on the launch date, um, you know, locally. So it wasn't really you know, I heard that these really moved online, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't I I wasn't able to go the online route, you know what I'm saying, because I was pretty busy. So I got these locally and um you know, where I'm, you know what I'm saying, I guess, you know, my area, phone posits aren't really a big deal. 
you know, kind of, there was a big hype for foams like a few years ago, but, um, you know, you, you still kind of see uh, foams sitting on shelves and stuff like that, depending, depending on which one it is or whatever the case may be. But yeah, this one, I was, you know, really had this one kind of on my radar and glad I was able to get them. So there you have a man, the Nike Air Foam Posit 1. Yeah, these, you know, it was crazy with as far as the launch of these. Uh, like I said earlier, they um, were supposed to officially release, like, I want to say a week or two weeks ago. But um, they decided to drop them, like, uh, at the All-Star break. You know what I'm saying? All-Star weekend. I, I think they released up, up north in, um, in New York and um, also on their the Nike sneaker app. I know some people said that they got them off of there. But then, you know, like I said, they were supposed to release like about two weeks ago, officially. But then they, or last week, and then they pushed the release up to like April 2nd or April 3rd or something like that. But then I heard, but then they, I guess they changed the date to, um, what was that, the 20th? Or something like that. Yes, whatever. Um, um, yesterday, so I was like, "Wow, you know, it was just crazy with the release. It was kind of hard to keep up with it, but um, whatever the case may be, I was able to get them. It wasn't too hard, and uh, yeah, I had a pretty good experience as far as uh, getting these, as far as the um, release and everything. Yeah, I paid retail, so." Uh, that wasn't really, you know, the prices went up on phones since I last got them. I know when I last got them, uh, like once I was paying like one ninety nine, but these were two thirty. Um, but like I said, it's been a few years, so the hype, you know, Nike's gonna jump all over that. They're gonna take advantage of, of that stuff. So there you have it. Uh, let me give you guys a look. I don't have any uh, phone positive ones on hand right now, but here's a look at my pros. That I have, I wear these. Um, I wear these from time to time. I really used to wear these a lot, um, but I still wear them. They're I like I like foams because to me they're kind of indestructible. <laughs> they're like you know what I'm saying there's something that you can wear whenever, um, and you don't really have to worry about them getting messed up. You know what I'm saying they they're pretty uh, durable shoes. I will say that for the price that you pay for them. You just kind of, you just kind of got to be a uh, selective, you know what I'm saying? Because they're they're pretty, um, they're up there in price. But if it's something that you really like, I'd say go for it because they're a shoe that they're gonna be, they're gonna give you um good, good wear, and you know they're gonna be around for a long time. So that's all I have. Thanks for checking out the video. Leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about these. Do you like them? Do you, uh, were you able to pick them up? And if you did, what do you like about the shoe? And um, I appreciate the view as always. Thanks for checking out the videos. And um, I just recently did uh, reviews on some recent pickups that I got. The um, black and white and the white and black Nike Classic Cortez Premiums. You can check those out on the channel. I posted videos for those. And, uh, yeah, just stay tuned. I probably will do a comparison video if, um, with these as well. I plan on doing also one with the um, Cortez that I picked up with the premiums and comparing with uh, some of my older um, releases, the, the regular ones. And I also, I think I will do a um, review. If not with um, another pair of phone posit ones, I probably have to go in the vault and pull some out. I just don't have them on hand right now. And, um, or I might just do them with these, uh, with the, these pros just to show you guys, in my opinion, that Nike has stepped up the quality with the phone posits. Um, I haven't copped a pair in a while, so maybe they've been stepped it up, you know what I'm saying? Um, but for me, this was like, oh, this is a lot better than what I've been, uh, what I remembered, you know what I mean? So that's all I have, man. So. Till next time, you guys be cool. I Just share the video with your friends. I would appreciate that. As always, I'm trying to expand the channel, reach more people. Um, if you're watching the video, just hit the subscribe button because I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying, I got dope videos and, you know what I'm saying, I, 
I just want to interact with the community and grow the channel. And uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And um, as always, man, you guys just be cool. Stay tuned to the channel. Always remember, copy what you like, not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.